A really cool thing you can do with PowerShell is have it automatically create HTML pages from output. So let's say I get a bunch of services from a particular machine. I can convert that to HTML. Now in PowerShell, the convert to verb implies that I'm taking something from one form and turning it into a different form, but I'm not putting it into a different place. In other words, I'm not redirecting it to a file. Uh, if you hit enter, it's very apparent. I've converted the services into an HTML table and the HTML stayed in the shell. So if I wanted to make that useful, I can just redirect it to a file. So with it in the file, let's pop open Internet Explorer here just by running that HTML file. And unlike most Microsoft products that produce HTML, Windows PowerShell produces absolutely clean, well-formatted HTML with no special formatting or styles or anything stuck in there. And you might think, well, well that's kind of boring, and there's a lot of stuff in here that I really don't care about. So that's where you dive into the help a little bit. Convert to HTML, and it turns out that I can actually do quite a bit with this. Um, I can give it a list of properties that I want to see. So if I only want some of those columns to be listed in that table, I can just specify the ones I want to see. I can create a title for the page. Uh, if a web developer has helped me create a cascading style sheet that applies formatting, so I can have different colors and so forth, that cascading style sheet lives in a separate file, and this CSS URI parameter tells PowerShell where that file is located so that the final HTML can actually have some formatting. You can also stick in some pre-content or post-content, perhaps a, a quick paragraph explaining uh, what that particular file was supposed to mean. And there's a whole other way to produce it. Uh, let's say you wanted to create an HTML file that included several different tables together. Well, an easy way to do that is to just produce, have each command produce a fragment. And if you want to see examples of that, the easiest thing to do is always add minus full to the help. Scroll down a bit, take a look at some of these different parameters, like fragment right there, and then take a look at some of the examples that explain how to use some of these different techniques. So getting into the help here and really reading through it will help you do more with, well, what's really a cool and useful commandlet, convert to HTML.